Welcome back to The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for. Yes, we talk to you about the importance of water, especially during this time uh, where everything's sort of hazy mm -hmm. and uh, can't be seen. Right now, the, 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 the environment's pretty good, but you'll never know yeah. uh, because the fires are still happening and uh, it's good to be preparing yourself. And we shall be talking about why you should be drinking water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here with us today, we have uh, the General Manager of AO Synergy mm -hmm. uh, Holding Sandran Bahad, the beautiful Janice Yap. Thank you very much for coming on our show today. Now, I, I think first and foremost, um, maybe you could clarify why is it important um, you know, to drink water and how does drinking water help with sustaining our health, especially in times of haze? Oh, is that the secret why you look so good? Yeah. <laughs> Your skin's like glowing. Yeah. Water is very important. Uh -huh. uh, actually, haze uh, has caused the API increase mm -hmm. in a very critical levels. Exactly. Uh, and haze, the extra, is a very tiny uh, dust and Particle, smoke huh? or other dry particles in the air mm -hmm. and it causes our eye, our nose and our throat irritation, mm -hmm. especially for asthma patients. Yes. Mm -hmm. And according to reports, asthma cases has been increased 100% mm -hmm. in Johor for the past one week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need a lot of water to hydrate our body mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because body uh, water is a very good nutrient and, and supplements to our body mm -hmm. and without water, I don't think our body can perform well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. our body is made of 70% water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, mm. right. mm -hmm. but what do you know? You you being in the you know you know you work with water. Um, what do you know about Malaysians' uh, drinking habit, water habit? Because um, a lot of us like you think you drink juice and then you're hydrated, mm -hmm. but it's you know there's a whole lot of difference between drinking juice and you know water, especially alkaline water. Uh, what? How do you see the Malaysians' uh, habit drinking habits? habit? Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, generally, I can say actually, a uh, human being, mm -hmm. our adult, our body consists about seventy to 80% of water mm -hmm. and uh, our brain alone consists about uh, 80% mm -hmm. and our lung close to 90% mm -hmm. and even the bone structure also about 22% of water. Mm -hmm. So actually water is a very good uh, transporter in our body. Mm -hmm. It transfers in all the nutrients to all the organs mm -hmm. and at the same time it will transfer, uh, transfer out all the toxin and acidic waste. Mm -hmm. So we, in order to stay healthy, we mm -hmm. must make sure we consume sufficient of water mm -hmm. daily mm -hmm. at least about 9 to 13 cups of water. Right. But generally in Malaysia, we can see not many people they will uh, uh, keep track mm -hmm. how much of water they drink Every yes. day. Because yeah. in Malaysia, uh, you drink coffee, so hey, there's one glass of water. What? Yes. Yeah. Is it, could yes. it be the same thing? Uh, uh, yeah, a, a lot of people they thought uh, they have wrong perception about water. Mm. They yes. thought all kind of drinks in uh, liquid form uh, yeah. are water. Uh, water. <laughs> okay. uh, but, but, but it's not, yeah? No, it's not. The, mm. the 9 to 13 cups of water per day actually is referring to plant water. Okay. Plain water. Uh, That's and it. not any kind of water such as coffee, tea, or even soft drinks. Mm -hmm. right. uh, mm -hmm. We must choose the right choice of water mm -hmm. in order to hydrate our body otherwise it will dehydrate our body exactly these drinks that uh, they were mentioned just now by by Janice uh, they're called diuretics uh, in which uh, it actually uh, encourages you to lose water so if you're drinking that cup of uh, coffee be don't be surprised that you have to drink two cups of water just to replace that uh, water that you will be losing yeah 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 that's all true. right so but here's the thing there's so many different types of water when you go to to, to let's say a hypermart yeah, where you've got the drinking water you got the mineral water you got the arid water you got alkaline water mm. so it's also confusing actually yeah. I what? think Malaysians generally will go <laughs> I'll go for the cheaper one yes what, yeah. do you, what say you Janice <laughs> yeah basically actually water the nature of water mm -hmm. can only be classified into three types mm -hmm. okay there's uh, alkaline acidic mm -hmm. or neutral mm -hmm. so okay. no matter what kind of water filter system you are using at home mm -hmm. but must be either one of these mm -hmm. okay. I see I see yeah. and, uh, the thing is uh, uh, we've got uh, slightly acidic water and slightly alkaline water we talk about the uh, pH balance yeah, we talk about the balancing of water. Seven is uh, right Richard. neutral. Uh, one is most alkali, and of course, fourteen is most acidic. Yeah. Um, in our body, our stomachs are naturally uh, naturally produce acid. Mm. So, I mean, let's say for example, if you take alkali water, will it? Uh, disrupt your digestive system? Yeah, it's a very good question. A lot of customers will ask this question mm -hmm. and we explain to them the benefits of alkaline water. Mm -hmm. And basically, our gastric juice actually uh, always maintain a pH 4. Mm -hmm. And even though when you drink uh, uh, alkaline water, the mm -hmm. pH will increase, mm -hmm. but our stomach it will 
automatically generate okay, yeah. yes oh, the okay. gastric juice right. and maintain always maintain at four mm -hmm. and then in fact the gastric juice actually they are not keep uh, inside our stomach oh, uh, okay, it right. will only produce upon if let's say you need it That's for true. digestion system all process right. all right okay. so it, it doesn't uh, mess about with your digestive no, system no, no, That's no, what no, we no. want to do yes. Yes. Ah. of course there are also other benefits when it comes to uh, drinking alkaline water maybe yeah. you can give us a, a run through on what are the yeah, yeah. benefits I can say in Malaysia most of the people they are drinking neutral water yes. okay it's okay for us there's no problem mm -hmm. but if you have selected alkali water mm -hmm. actually in fact it will provide something extra mm -hmm. in terms of the pH mm -hmm. because it's alkali so it helps to neutralize the acidity in our body mm -hmm. okay. and because acidity ha has been proven is the root cause to all kind of disease mm -hmm. right. and number two is the molecule cluster of the water are smaller so mm -hmm. better penetration and absorption I see. and number three uh, this water can emulsify the oil mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. and number four alkali water actually provide a negative charge electron uh -huh. so it can prevent aging ah, ah. negative that's, ions. i think that's the last thing. the last point is the most important one yes uh, of course when you talk <laughs> about negative ions uh, the bond with uh, uh, positive ions in your body uh, carcinogens yeah they're anti-carcinogenic uh, basically when you talk about the minus oh um, this is a, a geek do we have a small cap uh, do we have a small chalkboard i want to i want to draw the composition of water wow. <laughs> no, chemistry la, we'll, boy we'll save the, the chemistry lesson for later mm. but it's good enough to know that uh, the free radicals in your body will bond uh, with alkaline Positive. water, mm -hmm. uh, the, the negative ions, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, to of course uh, regulate your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, uh, what can we uh, uh, surmise from this? Because um, some people say alkaline water. There's two types as well. Yeah. So many. There's natural alkaline water and there's the ionized water. Mm -hmm. So um, can you tell us the difference? Okay, basically there are two types of alkali water in the market. Mm -hmm. What what normally we say one is natural type mm -hmm. and the other one is uh, uh, by added mm -hmm. Uh, additional mineral into the water and to okay. produce the alkali water mm -hmm. and for natural types of water uh, mm -hmm. alkali water actually is go through the electrolysis process mm -hmm. okay. because of the negative plate and, and the positive uh, plate, positive plate mm -hmm. right. the electrode and to attract the alkali mineral from the, wa uh, okay. from the waters to mm -hmm. one side and the acidic minerals mm -hmm. from to the other side and mm -hmm. come out to side the water right. so the machine will produce water uh, alkali water and the acidic water as well. Mm -hmm. oh, Whereas okay. from another types of uh, added by added way to produce the alkali water, mm -hmm. mainly they are put in additional alkali miner mineral into mm -hmm. the filter mm -hmm. to produce the alkali water. I see. Ah, so yeah. it's uh, the al the alkalinity is produced by uh, minerals, actual minerals, mm -hmm. uh, instead of electricity where you separate the ions. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. So. Um, is there any difference in the goodness uh, yeah. of, of either way? Because yeah. I'm a lot of people, oh, natural love, of course, I mean, it's the way God intended, you know, uh -huh. uh, the water passes through the minerals and then it becomes alkali as opposed to electricity, natural mm -hmm. versus man made. Uh, actually, what we say, uh, go through the electrolysis process, actually this is what we call natural way to produce the alkali water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And not okay. to add in additional things. All right. Uh, because okay. there's no any result proven that if, let's say, we put additional alkali mineral into the water, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and then it will serve purpose, the benefits. Mm -hmm. All right. But whereas if, let's say, the water is produced, go through the electrolysis process, mm -hmm. it's a natural way to just serve. The alkali minerals in the water still remain in the water, mm -hmm. only because of the Technology, we are able to remove out the acidic Any minerals okay. yes, mm -hmm. from the water. Okay. But in fact, the acidic uh, uh, minerals from the water also yeah. serve another kind of benefits. Right. Mm -hmm. For example, for our skin, yes. wow. we use the acidic water to wash face. Actually, it's very good. I'm so going to get alkaline water, water right after the show. Yes. Yes. You don't need it. Look at your face. It's beautiful already. Yeah. Wow. Our internal, we need alkaline, but yeah. our external skin, we need acidic water. Okay. Ah, I see. All right. yes. okay. Oh, well, I tell you, we could water. be talking about this what? All, all morning, actually. All morning. It's pretty interesting. But and what we'll do is mm -hmm. we'll put it to the test. That's right. We're going right. to turn the show this morning mm -hmm. into a science lab right. and demonstrate the different qualities of water. Right, right. Janice? Okay. Let's, let's, uh, of, let's of course, uh, move over to our experimental table in which we shall uh, we have prepared um, several types of water right here. This so is like yeah. school, high school. Yeah. Yeah. We do some magic here. Magic <laughs> show here. <laughs> okay. Okay. As I mentioned yeah. just now, water, right the nature of water basically only classified into three types. Mm -hmm. okay. There is acidic, mm -hmm. neutral and ionized alkali water. Mm -hmm. right. So how to differentiate the water then we have to depend on this we call pH tester mm -hmm. okay. to test the nature. Oh, uh, you don't have the litmus paper. Uh, last time in school we had the pink <laughs> paper or the blue paper. Yes, paper. yes. Uh, there can be another way. Uh -huh. but 
normally we use the liquid form. Ah. So when I drop this solution into the water, if yeah. let's say the water appears to be yellowish, mm -hmm. that means the water belongs to acidic. Exactly. This is our clear chart. Mm -hmm. If let's say green color, that means the water is belongs to neutral. Mm -hmm. And from blue to purple, the mm -hmm. color is that Alkaline. means the water is alkaline. Ah, so just I'll hold the I hold the grading right here actually. Yeah, just like so have a look here. You must look at the colors and let's see. Okay, the piece that's over there. How many uh, drops? Yeah. Well, unless you want to do it at home. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, ah, ah, mm. colors. Okay, let's take a look at this acidic water. I mean, this matches at uh, what grade? Uh, this is acidic? Yeah, that's around right. three, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. around number three over there. And, and over this is here. neutral, it's green colour. Yeah, neutral is green. Okay. There you go. And, and this is alkali water. Exactly. It's purple. Okay. Wow. As I mentioned, no matter what kind of water you are drinking at home, mm -hmm. yeah. this must be either one of these. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh. These are the three different uh, types of yes. water. And, and the benefits of alkali water is able to neutralize the acidity in our body. Mm -hmm. And okay. I just show you, this is mm -hmm. carbonated drinks. Soft ah. drinks. I okay. believe a lot of youngsters, mm -hmm. they like to drink. Oh yes, yeah. because of the bubbles, oh, because of like the extra this? sugar, and then yes. we jump around here and there. Yes. Hyperness. Yes. <laughs> okay. But are you aware, according to one of the Mm -hmm. uh, expert mm -hmm. from Korea mm -hmm. called Sun Wang, mm -hmm. he done his research. If let's say we drink one can of these soft drinks, mm -hmm. we need at least 32 cans of alkali water. 32 then, cans? Yes, yeah, then only can you try. Yes. My goodness. Uh -huh. Okay. Then only can you try the acidity. Oh, so okay. let's have a look. What will happen if let's say we just consume a little bit? Okay, of carbonated water, yeah? Yes. Soft drink. So that's acidity. No, you can put some more, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> but it's too acidic. Oh, I see, uh -huh. I see, I see. So okay. we cannot put too much. Okay. See what will happen. And this one, just now, is acidic. It's very, right. very acidic. Okay. But what about this one? My this goodness. It's neutral. Okay. Now it's acidic. It's acidic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And for okay, alkali... Okay, you see, alkali. Mm. It still remain alkali, right? It's a bit okay. lighter, though. You can see it goes a little bit lighter as it moves towards the acidic part of the uh, table. But over on this side... You see from green, Complete it's moved change. on to acidic already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This one, even though I put already, but it still remain uh -huh. alkaline, right? Uh -huh. But when we drink some more... Mm -hmm. Okay, will it change? Oh, see? Oh, oh, hey. yes. oh, yo. oh my gosh. And that's also. just two teaspoonfuls of that, right? Yes, it could change also to acidic. Oh no, I, am I burning holes in my stomach? You know the soda companies Jenny? are not going to like me. you right now. <laughs> Should Malaysians be scared? Oh, you scare us like Yes, 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 yes. So uh, try yeah. not to drink so much of carbonated yes. water. That's why mommies out there always tell their yes, children yes, not yes. to drink, to drink yes. gassy drinks. Yeah. So this is more acidic water? This is acidic water. For example, if let's say our body to be acidic and really acidic, mentioned mm -hmm. just now acidic is the root cause to all kinds of diseases, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, after your body becomes acidic, you mm -hmm. drink acidic water. Mm -hmm. See what, what will happen. Okay. It still remains acidic. Yes, of course. You will not change anything, right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. what about this one? It's neutral water. Neutral right. water, Produced okay. from the water filter machine. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It still remains acidic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it remains acidic, of course. Okay. It will take much more water to sort of balance it out, that's yes. for sure. Yes. Right. But how about, let's say you are drinking alkaline water. Alkaline water. Alkaline water. Right. So it goes back yes. to the yes. you Can, use can you change it all to purple? Oh. Change it all to purple. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's like a magic show here. <laughs> Doesn't take much size. to make Sakura happy. Yes. No, I'm yes. easily yes. amused. So. All right. Yeah. But having this much of alkali in your in your body though, mm -hmm. is that healthy as well? In terms yeah, of, of keeping the balance? Because uh, our healthy body should mm -hmm. be maintained at pH of uh, seven. By 3.5 to 7.45. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so green. drinking alkali water is able to neutralize it and mm -hmm. balance our body oh, to right. optimal level. Very of good, very right. good. Yes. We've got another test here to do uh, before before we sort of uh, wrap it up. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk about the oil emulsifying test. Basically, we Malaysians we love our food and we love our santan. We love all things oily. We love things fried. Yummy. We're almost like a, a whole nation of Texans. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but uh, at this point in time, yeah, we're gonna. Try and Does, have you ever heard oil and water can mix together? Oil and water do not do mix. Do not mix together, That's no. That's for sure. Yes. yes. Okay, let's try. Mm -hmm. See what will happen among this tree when I drop uh, the... Uh, uh, this is cooking oil. Cooking okay. oil. Okay, yeah, standard cooking, cooking oil. oil. Okay. Yes. Okay. See what are the differences That's among this acidic, tree? yeah? Of course, oil always floats to the top. Yes. Even if you mix it. Uh, there you go. All right. That's for, na for, for of course, uh, uh, pH balanced water. And this is alkali. Okay. So, of course, with the chemical properties of uh, 
uh, alkali versus acidic water, it will have different effects on emulsifying the layer of oil that you see in front of you. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll mix the okay, acidic water mix. first. Okay, Satira, you want to take any side bets on this? <laughs> okay, looking at the results... You can see the molecule of the oil. Mm -hmm. well, what like happens bubble, is... Bubble, bubble, right? Yeah. It okay. bubbles, but when it we leave it, When we leave these glasses here for another 10 minutes, mm -hmm. you can see... Uh, that the oil, the oil still sifts to the top, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It will back to the normal scenario, oil and the waters... Don't mix. Uh, don't mix together. There you go. Mm. All right. Like Romeo and mm. Juliet. <laughs> of course, we have lots of expectations for alkaline water. It seems uh, that the um, the uh, negative ions uh, working uh, uh, with the uh, oil molecules will emulsify or break up the oil molecules faster. And as you can see, okay, let's just pick up acidic versus alkali. Yeah? Over on this side. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. It does mix a little bit better with alkali. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. And so uh, more of course, as opposed as opposed to um, just uh, uh, pH balance water, mm. um, it doesn't do anything as well. Yeah. If you take a look at yeah. a slight compare. Yes. So what can we surmise from this experiment? Uh, uh, actually, when we drink a lot of alkali water, it helps to break off the oil, mm -hmm. okay. and which will prevent the breakage of accumulated fats mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. of our blood vessel. Mm -hmm. So okay. it can prevent a, a lot of diseases. I mean, we prevent. Oil. We're talking about diseases like um, uh, heart disease, um, uh, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. and yes. of course blocked arteries. Um, we're talking about um, alkaline water actually mm -hmm. doing something to help out. Yes. yes how yes, how yes. how far proven is this? Uh, actually, a lot of uh, researches has been done in mm -hmm. Japan and Korea. Actually, ionized alkali water is not a new invention mm -hmm. in the market. Mm -hmm. In Japan, it's about 80 years already. Mm -hmm. uh, they have done mm -hmm. research on all this uh, water. No wonder they live and so long. Yes. Oh, it's and not just this. And they're always young, looking uh, young. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's the secret. Yes, oh, yes. I see, I see. Right. So uh, from this experiment, um, can we surmise that drinking more alkaline water can be um, more beneficial for health? Yeah. It balance our body mm -hmm. to a very uh, optimum level mm -hmm. of pH balance. Very good. So yes. for let's talk about balance in your life, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, trying out the alkaline water would never hurt. And uh, let's see whether you've yeah. got some benefits. Of course, there, there, are, there are a lot of other ways also on your website on how you can mm -hmm. differentiate uh, filtered water and alkaline water mm -hmm. using yes. fruits and whatnot. All you got to do is log on to their website. That's mm -hmm. aowater.com.my mm -hmm. to find out more on what are the benefits mm -hmm. uh, of water exactly. and yes. alkaline water. In this day and age, it's best to keep informed. And of course, all the tools available on the internet. Thank you so much, Janice, for Thanks, coming thanks. down and yeah, becoming yeah. our science teacher this ah, morning. It's so much fun. Go. Thank you. So Thank you. blue is the color to go, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Blue is the Try out some color. alkaline water today and see whether you've got uh, whether you feel any results. Uh, maybe give it two weeks, give it a month. Yeah, yeah. and then see, see the, the difference. difference. Once again, you. thank you very much, Janice. Thank you. And we're thank gonna take you. a quick break right here on the breakfast show, the show worth waking up for. But hey, Satira, what do we have coming up? Yeah.